channel i do hope you're doing well so you can barely see him behind but i wanted santi here with us for our uh, primark haul for december because i just know you're gonna be you're gonna be telling me all the fabulous details so uh, it's a little bit hidden blessing so i'm gonna pop the bag on the floor and then we can just pick it up because my lovelies this is a heavy bag okay that is filled and i was so careful lifting it for the thumbnail because my nails are hanging on by a wing and prayer let me tell you that so can you believe this is the last monthly primark haul of 2022 there may be a few more different style primark hauls coming but my monthly let's see what's new in primark this is it this is the last one huh? so you just know that this is filled with plenty of blooming goodies so my lovelies please get comfortable and let's say adios to primark for 2022 let's go out with a bang eh <laughs> right i thought we'd bring the camera down a bit just so we can see you santa you okay because you're always held held it's because i'm holding this hand if you know me i don't hold hands um this is because you're always hidden behind the tree i don't want you to be hidden i want you to be in full view for this one okay so could we round out 2022 without something like this in the last haul and my lovelies the word for that is no no and you probably know what i'm going to bring out here if you know me that well these are going to be very very handy for next autumn winter i got another fedora this isn't going to go well with my hair i mean i look like pirate jack sparrow so we're just not going to do that but if you know me these 10 pound 100 wool hats from primark absolutely love them i have a black one i have a gray one i now have an emerald green one this is going to go fabulous with my coat and it won't really clash much with my hair i don't think but something like this if say i go a different color next year this will really work well with it so i'm very much excited 10 pounds 100 wool 100 wool you cannot go wrong because i mean look even santa likes it we're going to change up your thing this is where i just knock everything flying ain't it oh my god he's racking it racking it rocking it santa should i keep that hat on him <laughs> no i'm not gonna do that it's gonna dent your hat and i don't i don't want the elves taking the mick at you or mrs claus being like what are you doing We'll just leave you like that but yeah 10 pound if you're looking for a good fedora don't be paying through the odds because i've seen hats in like river island for 30 35 quid Great mark. i need to try and find like some summer fedoras you know like i think summertime is the floppy hats ain't it and i've only got one or two floppy hats because i'm not gonna lie they annoy me i'm not really a floppy hat kind of girl i'm much more like a nice sturdy fedora we're gonna go with it right there is a lot of odds and bobs in here um may have got carried away on the underwear front i'm not gonna lie and um, we do have quite a lot however i'm gonna start off with something that is classed as underwear i'm just trying to make it look a little bit more presentable because it's all undone so there is a big thing at the moment with underwear as outerwear and i have seen this particular item be dressed up so much for night out outfits and i was in primark and i thought you know what let's give it a go shall we so this of course you could wear for the bedroom but this with jeans skinny leggings not skinny leggings um shiny leggings like the wet look leggings a mini skirt or a midi skirt something nice and like classy you might look at this and think that is not classy and that should stay where people can't see it but i think it is quite classy so it is primark have got a collection of corsets okay they have got a selection of corsets first off let's show you the back so it is a gorgeous mesh see-through back and then when it comes around to the front as i say it's probably not going to look good because it's all undone but you get the gist of it i will show it on with like 
jeans and maybe a blazer, something like that. But that is the vibe. So it comes down and it has this mesh lace with gold hook and eye to match the gold kind of like crossover halter chains at the back. Guys, this was £10. Now, I have seen corsets online, 20 25 30 40 I've seen some that are ridiculous. Yes, I know it's Primark, but hey-ho. they also done it in red, burgundy, and emerald green, like the hat. I mean, rock what you want in the bedroom. Could you rock that with a fedora hat? Why not? Why not? Hey ho, what goes on in the bedroom stays on in the bedroom, eh? But yeah, I saw that and I thought, gotta give it a go. So uh, yeah, I will show that because I'm still classing that as like, where can I put you? Let's put you there. I'm still classing it as like outerwear. The actual underwear that, there's quite a lot of it, um, I'm not gonna lie, will not be shown because no one needs to see that. AKA, let's get a match, shall we? The five pound sets that are now six pound. Now, I had a bit of a nightmare because I thought, oh my goodness, have I already got this color? I haven't. I've got that many that I forget what color I've got. But we'll just start off because I'm not gonna lie, there is a lot. I thought we might as well go out with a bang, eh? And then in the new year, I'll probably start again with all new colors, whatever they bring out. These are the five pound sets that are now six pound. I get them in a size small. And it is the classic group set, my lovelies. You know this love them i got it in kind of is it like a plum or an aubergine there's no oh they just call it burgundy very plain primark you could call that like a nice fancy plum burgundy i'd say it is definitely more of a plum than a burgundy i'm not gonna lie and it's gorgeously ribbed and the back is a nice little thong it's not like a full g-string but it is very comfy when i tell you i live in these in the summer that is what I live in. Sometimes even now, like under my onesies, if I just want comfort and I just want to be like, yes, chill, I don't want to be in a vice, that is my go-to. And I'll tell you what has been my go-to. If you remember last month, I picked up a little pair of loafers. They were black ones with a little chain. I actually picked these up for mum in autumn. She did not like them one bit. She said, absolutely not. However, I like them. So I have picked myself up a pair of loafers, but in the brown. So as I say, I've got the black, but I thought, you know what? It's kind of handy to have a brown pair. And these are eight pound. I'm a little size four. I've got Diddy feet. And yeah, they do them also in burgundy and like a khaki, I want to say, but Black and brown, I think that is a staple. If you find a pair of shoes or boots that you like and you have them in, say, a black, get a brown. If you've got them in a brown, get a black because I think footwear can be anything. But as long as you have, like, the staple colour, which for me, I'm trying to get more brands in the wardrobe. Black is my go-to. If you see my footwear, pretty much it's all black. But I'm slowly introducing brands. Um, I bought my Doc Martin Chelsea boots in brown. Love them so much, I now want them in black. So... We just gotta go with uh we've gotta go with it, swings and roundabouts as they say, eh? Right. <laughs> You're gonna see this. If you've seen this in the store and you haven't thought, oh my god, that's Shannon. I don't think I've put myself across fully enough, okay? Because I love it when I get messages from people and they're like, we saw a gong today and we automatically thought of you and Mama G. That really makes me smile because I think, oh my God, like I've just popped up in someone's head. Like you could be out randomly walking down the street, see a gong and people are like, oh my God, like Shannon and Mama G. So I love that. When I saw this, I was like, oh my God, I need it. It is, I'm not going to lie, people are probably going to say it's tacky. But I don't care. I don't care. I saw this and I was like, Shan, Shan, I don't know why you need this, but you need this, okay? I picked it up in a size small, which is 10 to 12, and it was £12. Now, this is properly part of their festive collection because it has the proper, like, the festive logo sticker and all that, Canon. Thank you. So, I got it in a small. Let's start with the back. I'll show you the back, Okay. <laughs> So it's just a lovely plain cardigan. You see that? I mean, you can see the arms, but 
da, da, da. <laughs> guys i love it it's got christmas puddings it's got snowflakes it's got reindeers it's got christmas trees it's got love hearts it's got gingerbread man and it says holiday is this not just the most tackiest cardigan you've ever seen but somewhere along the line you know you need it in your life i'm all here for christmas jumpers i do have quite a few which next year i'm going to go through because some of them i just don't vibe with anymore but have i got a christmas cardigan no you will see in the try on clip i will always do a uh, thumbs up thumbs down how are we gonna go with it guys i love it i think if i wore this into work I would get really weird looks but you know what i don't care i get weird looks anyway when i go into work and i'm just like Meh. hey ho you get one life okay so i'm gonna say if you see the tacky knitted cardigans and jumpers and you like them go and get them it's the time to be happy all right and that made me very happy i mean mum was just like oh shan <laughs> and i was like mum i need it and then i was on the hunt i was like do they have matching bottoms is it like part of a jogging cohort it wasn't unfortunately it was just the cardigan but yeah you might realize there's a few other things in here that you're probably going to look at and be like showing us tacky hey we're all entitled to our opinion but if you're gonna leave a comment let's not be nasty let's spread some festive cheer okay we're gonna spread some festive cheer now if you have a christmas party coming up and you want some killer heels i mean killer heels for a bargain how much were these so these were 15 pounds and they're by the paula Echavaria x primark range when i think of christmas i think sequins sparkle velvet colors black red silver that's it for me black red silver maybe green who knows i saw these and i was like wow i need these now i think so you would put your foot in there and that's a back strap okay i get it these are not going to be to everyone's taste but just just check out the heel on them okay we're, we're coming out with the big boys right we're not having the baby nude ones we're coming out with a good I'm gonna say five six inches we are having fun it's a nice open toe shoe 15 pound they're weighty as well okay not that like <laughs> i'm gonna look so bad here not that i like to judge a pair of shoes by their weight but if it's a long night and i want to take my shoes off i want something i can just like carry and not feel like i'm doing an arm workout it's also handy that if something goes down, I can be there with my shoe. I'm absolutely joking. Please don't think I can do anything like that. But I don't want to be carrying heavy shoes for when I'm around. These are quite heavy, but I'm not going to lie. I don't think once they're on, I, I wouldn't be taking these off. These are like creme de la creme. Love it. If you had a stunning, you could go all red if you had a red dress. Or if you had like a black or the silvery gold sequin pair this potentially with a red bag i was a little bit let down with our christmas bags i'm not gonna lie they didn't have much however this accessorize accessorize i will also do you would have seen it with the loafers i do little clips with the shoes because you guys like to see them on so yeah i would have probably inserted that here what do you think santa what do you think of them snazzy yeah matches his uh, little suit well not the one he's wearing it matches your little guy over there doesn't it yeah if you have just joined me you're probably thinking who is this uh, bird talking to her santa and a wax mill hi my name's shannon <laughs> has anyone seen on tiktok it's like hi it's me no what's it oh it's me i'm the problem it's me something like that it's something to do with taylor swift now i thought these were six pounds they've gone to seven clearly didn't pay much attention last time but we have another variation of loungewear my lovelies these are slightly ribbed but as you can see the front is different so it's kind of just a scoop neck as opposed to the v-neck the bottoms again are a thong but i really like the backs on these these are snazzy so it's just like a little wire back i do believe i have a few of these from summer i want to say like an aqua green and a pink 
I'm thinking, I'm thinking that. But yeah, I thought it was great. I thought it was great for this season. And yeah, it's so comfy and comfort is key. Now, this item may not be comfy. And again, I got sidetracked on the whole underwear, outerwear thing. And I'm thinking this could look really nice, like styled with high-waisted jeans and skinny coated leggings and everything like that. And then... I'm not going to lie, I tried this on and I thought, oh no, see, this is why you don't wear stuff like this, Sha. Because I'm still quite, I have really big shoulders and that's why I like them covered. And like the tops of my arms, we all know, I'm like, I feel a little manly. So I don't normally like to have my shoulders or top on show. I think with this, it would definitely be a blazer number. So this was £9, again, part of the Primark collection. It doesn't have the fancy sticker like the other corset, but... This was in cup size. That one I got in a 34D. Thank goodness I did. That is my normal size. Well, 34 double D I measured out, but I wear a D because I don't like feeling like I'm in a vice and I'm a nun, okay? I mean, we only have one life, and if you've got them, flaunt them all. We, we can't have a single video without um, the cast of Footloose interrupting, can we? But, um, yeah, I like to... Not like so you're overspilling, but when it comes to something like this, I thought, you know what? It might be nice to have a little bit overspill. We shall see. Um, I picked this one up in a B cup, and it is a gorgeous black velvet corset. Look at that. So this one is kind of basically the top version. Because you've got a huge hook and eye at the back, which let me tell you, took forever in a day to do up. I was trying to put it on and turn it around. But this will definitely be a number with a blazer. I don't quite know which I prefer, this one or the other one. I don't know. I don't know just yet. But yeah, I thought I'd try and give them a both a go. As I say, the other one I got in a 34D and there's still a little bit of overspill on that. You will see in the try and clip, but that one... It's just because like the tops of my arms are chunky, so I'm like, no, we have to hide that. I don't like having rolls here on show. That's why, like, pretty much all of the time, unless I'm on a beach, they're covered. The shoulders are covered, okay? These were so adorable. So, so adorable. So, we all know I'm a bit of an addict with cosy socks. I'm kind of an addict with anything when it comes to shopping, to be perfectly honest. Primark had so many cosy socks. They had like fluffy ones like these. They had chenille ones. Oh my God. The chenille ones were out of this world, let me tell you. They had so many like slipper socks and slipperettes to go with the snoodies because the snoody range, oh my goodness gracious me, everywhere. But I saw these and I just thought, no, because I wanted me and mum to have matching. So they have slightly gone up, I think, because I don't think this is the normal price for a two pack of fluffy socks. These are three pound, but... It's because they are Christmassy. So I was thinking with these, these are very good in unisex because this is something that Dada could have. However, Dada doesn't like cosy socks. But my thinking was, who remembers, was it last year? It could potentially have been last year when we had the green pyjamas with the penguins on. We could have that and then have our matching socks on. Because when we had our matching PJs this year, mum didn't have matching red fluffy socks, which I've actually got on now because my feet are freezing. So yeah, I thought we could have this with our green PJs and we'll be we'll be loving life, you know? We will absolutely be loving life. <laughs> I'm loving life just looking in this bag because I'm like, oh my goodness. Oh, I did get one bag. This gave me... I don't even want to say it now. This is going straight back, okay? Um, This gave me Balenciaga dupes, but... If you have seen anything in the news lately, that is a brand that I don't think is going to be around for much longer. Or if it is, it's going to really be scaled back. So, I don't want to say too much on the issue, but if you know, you know. This is kind of like the dupe of it for Christmas. So, it's a silver and black sparkle one. These are £7. They have them in so many different colours it's got a silver chain and you do have a long strap in case you don't want to have it as a full chain bag. You can have it as a little strap bag. But yeah, um, I don't really want to give it much time to be perfectly honest. So we're just going to, we're going to put you there. We'll put you on the floor, okay? Mm -hmm. Right. These are well and truly needed, okay? Gloves. Two pairs of black gloves. 
very simple one pound. My lovelies, how cold is it in the mornings? How blooming cold. It is ridiculous. I touch my steering wheel and I'm like, oh, it's freezing. It hasn't been raining too much down south this week, but it's just cold. It is absolutely bitterly cold. So, yeah, my hands need to be kept warm. And it wouldn't even surprise me. I'll probably wear both pairs. Because if you know me, I always, always, always have cold hands and cold feet. I don't know why. And a cold nose. My granddad used to say it was dysmenthia or dysmenthia. It was basically, he said it was dog's disease. Thanks. Because you always have a wet nose. I was like, well, my nose ain't wet. It's just cold. But it sometimes feels wet because of the coldness. So, yeah. I mean, that's great. Being told as a child you've got dog's disease, ain't it? But hey-ho. Cold hands, cold feet, cold nose. And I don't know why. I actually don't know why. Now, if you remember last month's haul, I picked up another loungewear set. I'm not going to lie, but this one is completely different. So this was by the Gen Primark. And I think this is for like the unisex brand. And it has removable liners and adjustable straps, which is fabulous. We love an adjustable strap. And they are £6. And it's another seamless set. I just love these. However, the difference with these, so yes, they have removable cups. They have the adjustable straps, which is fabulous, but it's a full brief. So it's not like a racy thong or anything. If you literally just want comfort, I think this is what they are going to go for. And I just thought that was really nice. A new uh, range from Primark, and I'm all here for it. All here for it indeed. I tell you what, my lovelies, I think I'm going to pause here. Somehow clear this off and put the bag up. We might have to block you, Santa. I do apologise, because we've still got tons. And I'm so excited. <laughs> right. I actually just thought that I'd take everything out of the bag. Because I didn't want to cover your Santa, did I? We was having a big, long discussion with it. And no, I didn't want to cover Santa. So I'm going to get the bits of underwear out of the way. Because I know there is a lot. And there's probably going to be another bit down there. I'm not going to lie. I picked up another £5 slash £6 set now. But I got it in black. I know I've got one in white. Because I had it on holiday. But I couldn't remember picking up a black. If I have, then I've got two now. But six pound six pound love it and you can't go wrong with a pack of thongs they used to be three pairs for three pound they are three pairs for four pound but somehow they always gravitate into my basket so we have two red and one black very simple ribbed thongs these are great great for emergencies great for when you don't know what to chuck on but you just need to put some underwear on to get out of the house they are my go-to's all right i also 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 picked up some more socks and these are like the ribbed socks so they're like the proper cozy bed socks these are kind of i want to say like the ribbed chenille ones so these were three pound also and we have a cream pair with red little trims at the top saying ho 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 and then i think the green ones behind are just plain yeah i don't think there's anything on them but they're just a plain green ribbed with the white piping at the top I love them. New socks at Christmas. You cannot beat it, okay? I don't care what people say. You've got to get excited about a new pair of socks or even like a new pair of slippers. Or for men, I think it's like new boxers and socks, ain't it? Or new pants and socks. Pajamas, loungewear for men. I love it all, okay? I absolutely love it all. Now, I did pick up another bit of footwear. You're probably thinking, Shan. You've already picked up loafers, heels. I've picked up a pair of boots. Now, I have the knee-high boots that come up, but they slowly start to work their way down now because my leg shape has changed. I saw these and was like, wow. They've got elastic. They've got, like, ties at the top. And they are a gorgeous... You'll see these in the clip-on, but they're just, like, a slightly chunky heel, not too much velour boot it has a zip in the middle so you can get your leg in and then at the top when it goes up you've got like the ties to make it tighter or looser and would you believe me if i told you these were 20 quid 20 pound you'd pay like 35 40 quid in Lindsay for something like this and i don't think they'd have the um elastics the only thing though it does annoy me that you could potentially be having a huge bit of thing oh actually no because you could maybe tuck it in potentially 
maybe you don't have to have them sticking out but yeah i thought these were really good they had them in black and gray also i just went with black though because i know i'm trying to get more brands than that in my wardrobe but black is kind of like my soul um <laughs> a very dark soul as we can tell by um the things that i read and the things that i watch and my documentaries and series that uh, i may come across <laughs> we shall see how it goes but yeah i just thought if they work best believe i'm going to be going back and getting every single color you know we shall see we shall see now i've i got this because i really wanted brown in my wardrobe i can't put it on my head though because i've got my hair up but i've got another bobble hat did i need another bobble hat but I saw it and I thought I haven't got a brown one. I actually haven't got a brown one. And these are really good quality, my lovelies, this year. This is like a really chunky ribs knit. And it was £4. They had so many colours of these. So many. They had black, cream. I'm thinking, my goodness, I can't have cream because of my hair. I don't really want black because I've got fedoras and that. But I saw brown and I thought, you know what? This could actually go with my brown... If you remember, I think it was last year I got it in the sale from Quiz. The big brown teddy bear body warmer like the long line one i picked it up in the sale i think it was like 30 quid in the sale and then i went back and bought the cream one because i liked it so much i thought we could go for this maybe i might ask mum if she can get me a cream hat to go with the cream body warmer for christmas and then once like my hair goes back to a, well i say a normal color i don't plan on having it a normal color for a while but when it does then potentially i could have a uh, cream one i don't know but yeah if you're looking for a hat anything like that highly recommend uh primani okay oh no i told you there'd be one there'd be one more bit of underwear a seven pound set we got it in the blue i got it in the green you're gonna see that since i've dyed my hair green i have actually bought a lot of green stuff haven't i and i think i was trying to drop hints like back in summer when i was making up my mind with oh what haul was it the h&m haul and i got like a green um it was like a whole design like a netted but knitted one knitted netted a knitted net jumper and like a green cardigan that like you tied up in the middle with like a hook and eye i was trying to subliminally drop the hints but i love this i saw it in the blue and i was like you know what got to have it in the green seven pound and i think you probably pay that little bit more well a pound more because it's got the detailing on the back I mean, don't ask me. I'm not a fashion connoisseur, but that is my thinking. Right. <sighs> this is part of a two-piece, and I was absolutely gutted I could not get the shorts. But we're going to see how it goes, because I have a feeling this could be a really good staple. If you remember, I want to say maybe September, I bought a white slash gray slash black checkered blazer love it was very very surprised i could even still fit in a 10 because we all know they used to be miles too tight across the girls across the arms nothing got a size 10 it fit lovely i saw this one and i was like i just i can't not pick it up whether i keep it or not i mean it might look absolutely hideous on but i have to pick it up to try and i will make a right pig here of it so you'll see more in the trial clip but Guys, can you see that? It is a pink houndstooth jacket. The quality, I must say, it's got shoulder pads in it and everything. The quality is next to none. It's weighty as well. I would not moan at this. How much was you? £30. You go into like Zara and River Island and you'll pay double. Minimum. Minimum. I've seen blazers in River Island for £75. Which part of me thinks I really want to invest in a good blazer. But I just don't tend to reach for blazers that often. So the one time that I do actually want to go for a blazer will probably be my luck and I don't have it. So that's why. I've actually reached for that one though quite a lot. The white one when I used to go out. Used to go out. I went out a few um, weekends with the girls just for some food and bits and bowls. And I really liked it because it was quite a thick one. I love this. As I say, I'm absolutely gutted that they didn't have it in my size but see something like this with the corset underneath a nice skirt leggings anything like that 
I think you can really dress this up. So I will be on the hunt. If I decide to keep that, I mean, it's a lovely staple piece on its own. But if I can get the shorts in it, oh, please. Every good, decent two-piece I've seen this year will have my size in one and not in the other. Like Tesco's, they had a gorgeous, like, brown checkered coal set. Oh, divine. Do you think they had my size in both bits? No. They had the blazer in a 10, which was fine. And then the bottoms were either an 8 or a 12. And I'm not saying we just went to one store. I went to four stores and none of them had a 10. The 8 was, I could do it up, but it was tight and the 12 just hang off. So I was like, so for that, because I actually had that in mind of having that as like the two piece. You know, like when I used to get my suits from Primark, the thin blazers with the little lapel and the trousers. I think I got a khaki, sagey green and a polka dot. I had that in mind. Like, yes, that is a two piece. That is how I'm going to wear it. So that's how I had it in mind with these, but it's not meant to be. However, I would still rock that blazer on its own. Oh. So I had to get some pyjamas, didn't I? I, when I say I was devastated, if you've been in Primark, you will see that they have like a loungewear slash pyjama section. And the tops are £10 and the bottoms are £10. The bottoms are long cuffed with a pocket and the tops are either a sweat or a hood. And they do them in such funky designs. They're kind of like their version of a Christmas tracksuit. I couldn't see any in my size. But who remembers when I got a night shirt? I think it was, it must have been in summer. I'm thinking July, August time. A blue and white pinstripe night shirt. And I fell in love with it, didn't I? If you remember watching vlogs around that time, that was all I ever slept in. I saw this. This is £11. It's part of their Love to Lounge range. And it is a brushed cotton tartan night shirt okay it probably does need an iron but it's the colors green red white there's little bits of yellow in it it comes down and it even has little red buttons i love this it's just so festive such a festive design design i was about to say style and design just <laughs> i'm just making up words as i go it's such a festive style. Like this in pyjamas would be gorgeous for Christmas Day. I said to mum, whenever I move out, mother, don't worry, it won't be yet. But the first Christmas at home, we are going to go m and or Boo Avenue, whichever it may be. And we are getting a traditional pair of brush cotton red tartan pyjamas. That, the first Christmas in my home... Having mum and I mean, if Dada wants to come around and get involved in the um, pajama thing, that's absolutely fine with me. But I don't. I have. I, it's almost like I have a sixth sense to say like he will absolutely not wear matching pajamas with me and Mama G. <laughs> I just know that. And even if I asked him now, he'd probably tell me to like do one. So we're not gonna. We're just gonna preempt it. Be me and Mama G, okay? But I just saw this and I loved it. Absolutely loved it. And I thought, you know what? It might be cold, but I do get very toasty in my bed. I'm not gonna lie. Because I have my teddy bear sheet on and then the bedding is a teddy bear fleece. Whew, I get toasty. T to the O to the A-S-T-Y toasty. Oh, I love. That's like what I mean. I'm just crazy. I can't say a normal word without trying to make it to like an R to the U to the D-E rude. Which can I just say I had really bad road rage coming back from work today. Hmm. These dark nights people need to check their lights. Oh my god. See, that was rhyming. I didn't mean it. The amount of people I've seen without their lights on in the dark or they don't have, like, it'll be, like, one, so it looks like a motorbike. It's dangerous. Please, when you get out, like, if you can just face the wall or something, check your back lights, check your reversing lights, check everything. I currently don't have a reversing light. <laughs> so I need to get that fixed pronto. But apart from that, touch wood, bug is all ready to go. And the last thing I got, oh, I love this. I'm not going to lie. I really, really like this. I don't think this is going back. I think this is such a classic, lovely piece. They've done it in black and white as well. But for the festive season, I had to get black and white. Uh, not black and white. I had to get green and white. This was £14 from the Christmas range again. I got it in a size small. So I'm going to start. It's got like a high neck collar. Not a roll neck to which you can roll down, but, like, it should hide a couple of my double chins. And then it comes down. And just look at that fabulous Christmas jumper. 
the sleeves balloon cuffed sleeves yes please in the middle of the snowflakes there are pearls how gorgeous how freaking gorgeous i love this i wish i had a picked it up in the black as well now i feel like i needed it in both i just love this absolutely love it and i don't think i really hope this looks nice on if i'm not giving this a thumbs up i'm gonna be gutted absolutely gutted oh another little episode from uh footloose Woohoo! but yes i just think that is gorgeous they had so many good christmas jumpers as well some starting from like seven pound so if you're just having like say i don't know a day in the office where it's christmas jumper day you don't want to be paying through the roof because i'm not gonna lie christmas jumpers can be blooming expensive in some shops 14 pound that's a really really nice quality one but as i say they do have ones that are kind of just like um sweat jumpers for seven quid so yeah hopefully there is something there for everyone but my lovelies oh that makes me so sad that's our last haul for 2022 done oh so oh, i feel really emotional i feel like we've come to another end of a chapter primark at the end of every year it does not get easier saying goodbye to you even though i see you next month it's just weird isn't it? it's a new year um i think we've had some caucus this year from primark I think we've had some really good bits. Let me know down below what is your favourite bit. Or if you've been watching the Primark hauls for however long, the whole year, the last month, whatever. What do you think your favourite bit that I picked up was? I like to see I like to see people's ideas and what people think looked best. Could it be a hat, a dress? I don't know. Let me know what. If you thought of all things Shannon and Primark, what sticks out in your mind for it? But yeah, there's a lot of green. A lot of green, a lot of red a lot of prints let's just say but yeah to think the next time we will be sitting down on my own as i say there's still a few primark um hauls coming but on my actual own we will be in january 2023 that is scary ain't it that's scary so um <laughs> I don't want to waste any more time of your day. We are well and truly in the daily uploads now. And thank you for sticking around with me. If you have got this far, the word of the video is corker. Corker. C-O-R-K-E-R. Corker. We'll go with that. We'll go with that. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. Leave me a comment. As I say, if you've been following the Primark hauls for a while, what was your favourite bit? But what was your bit? In this haul, what was your favourite bit from the last 2022 Primark haul and Christmas edition, let's just say. But yeah, take care. Stay safe as always. I'll see you tomorrow for another video when I... Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.